Shalom, Shalom Israel, coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying. First off, giving all praise, all honor, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechachodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth, with truth and sincerity, especially now, risk your lives to do so. May you be of the elect. Shalom to all the Akim and Akwath out there listening and learning. You Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, who are the true children of Israel, as well as you speckled bird, Israelite foreigners, mm -hmm. the Israelites that look like, act like, and take on the customs of all these heathen nations. So to you, I say Shalom. This lesson is brought to you by the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, mm -hmm. by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of our Father, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites, by Hashem meaning in the name, mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls by the name of JC. All right. Yeah, so MGTOW, right? It's been happening for a little bit of time already, you know, sprinkled here and there. But um, it's about to start happening in droves. All right, because we at the end, all right? There's no other way around it. We at the end. And, you know, you know what? I'm just going to read the scriptures and, and let the scriptures speak on it. Wow, look at that. GMS Inspiration. <laughs> Title, Curse. Woo, spirit cold, boy. But um, let me get to it, man. You know, talking about MGTOW. For those that don't understand what MGTOW means, it means men going their own way. Why is MGTOW happening? We're going to get to it. This is Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For Yahweh hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. The weaker vessel shall compass a man. Can be up over a man. Me personally, I've been noticing this uh, little pedestal bullshit happening right around like 2014, 2015. Somewhere around that time frame. It probably could have been happening sooner, but that's when I noticed, me personally. Uh, you know, with all these movies and you, you got female military officers beating the shit out of like five dudes at one time. Uh, you got women superheroes and, you know, it, it's just straight folly, man. All right. And then you got these women in in the real world. All right. Esau got they, they head so damn swole. All right, talking about they don't need a man because they getting they getting wick and you know chasing the bag and you know they the HBIC and all this. Esau just got their heads pumped up with full of bullshit, man. And these bitches ran with it, and now they think that they don't need a man. Well, guess what? If you've been paying attention to any type of prophecies, any type of news in the past few years, then you should know that America's at its end. Whenever you have the weaker vessel, the woman, uh, uh, up over a man in any society, that's letting you know that that is the end of that society. That is the end of that world, right? That that kingdom is, is, is over. When you have the weaker vessel ruling over men, that should tell you something, okay? So now you got all these women's head pumped up. They don't need nobody, but they're not paying attention to the details, they not paying attention to the world. The shit is about to hit the fan. Okay? And I can almost guarantee you, you ain't going to see no dude running behind no bitch talking about, can you save me? It's going to be the other way around. However, when you got these women that's got their hair so far up their own ass, saying they don't need nobody, that is the birth of MGTOW. All right, bitch, you, you don't need nobody? You cool? I'm going to go my own way. You do you, I'm going to do me. That's going to be the vibe, man. All right? And it's been happening, like I said, from time to time, sprinkle here and there. But it's about to start happening in droves, especially, all right, especially for the men of the Lord. Why? Because in the men of the Lord, I, they, we got to go through it, man. All right? And, and a lot of these women ain't trying to deal, man. All right? The ones that have already left men of the Lord or those that are all, that, that's constantly wavering. Going back and forth. I'm going to stay. I'm going to leave. I'm going to stay. I'm going to leave. I'm going to stay. I'm... This ain't no fucking hopscotch, man. All right? You either in or you out. Now, us men of the Lord, we already understand 
and know that it's a good 98% of the chance that they're going to leave. All right? The Lord said he He called us into this, man. He didn't call them. He didn't call your whole family members into this. He called us into this. And so we have to do what? Put on the whole armor of the Lord, man. We have to gird up our loins like men. Be prepared for loss. You should already be thinking of these things, man. All right? This shouldn't be something that you should just think about uh, when it when it suddenly happens, man. All right? There's a saying in the world, be prepared so you don't have to get prepared. And I'm constantly doing that. I'm all I'm constantly putting scenarios in my head. What if? What about that? And this. You should do that. So when these things happen, there's nothing to marvel at. Especially because you already know what time it is. But nonetheless, that's the vibe in the world. All right? And so with knowing this information, knowing that the shit is about to hit the fan, knowing that you, your, your spouse may leave your side, do you think it's wise to let your left hand know what your right hand is doing? It's probably not a good idea. All right? Um, let's get this real quick. This is, uh, hold on. No, I don't want that. This is, uh, actually, yeah, I'll get that instead. Let's see, hold on. Hold on. All right, this is uh this is Micah 2 and verse 5. Yeah. Let me see. Nope, that ain't what I want. Salakia. Let me see. Is that what I want? Nope. That's not what I want. Hold on. Let me look for this real quick. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah. I was in the wrong, wrong chapter. This is Micah 7. And verse 5, it says, Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. You see that? Don't be telling your wife every damn thing. All right? Because she can use that against you later on uh, in this walk. Okay? Some things, yes, yeah, she needs to know. Some things she don't need to know. What, what good is it going to serve her? To know everything that's going on. Especially if, if, especially if she's wavering. All right. Or she don't believe in nothing. All right. Because you're going to have a lot of uh, Israelites. Uh, that Or even just people in general. And they ain't going to believe shit until they see it. So what's the point of telling her about anything and everything? Chill out. All right. Verse 6. Micah 7 and 6. It says, for the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter rises up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men are the men of his own house. And that's what's going to happen. All right. That's why I brought that out. That was the main point. All right. A man's foes are going to be that um, them of his own house. So you don't need to be telling anybody and everybody that's your so-called family members of what's going on in your world. All right. And why would you? If they don't believe, if they ain't uh, dealing with the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they don't give a damn what you're doing in this in this walk. Hey, man, what's the point of telling them? They're already, they're already uh, letting you know. The, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai is already letting you know that, that they're not your, your people, man. They're your enemies. Even Yahweh Shai. Hey, what you mean? That's my brother. My, my mother, my brother? What? He turned around and said, no, no. This is my brother. This is my brother. This is my mother. These are my family. 
Anybody that's doing the will of Yahweh, Boy Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, that's our true family members. Our, our so like that, our true family. Everybody else is just relatives. That was told to me by a wise brother named Murph. All right, that's straight facts, man. Okay, so yeah, point is, don't be telling your wife or your spouse, right, everything and anything, because it can be used against you later on, especially if they walk and, and, and do a side deal with, with their enemy, okay? And therefore what? You have an enemy, and you knew it was going to happen, Scripture said, it'd be an enemy of your own household, man, okay? So be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Okay, this is a, uh, let me see, this is First Ezra, uh, this is First Ezra 4. And 26, it says, Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred and sinned for women. You see that? Why would you, why would you? <laughs> That's basically just simping, man. All right, you know you the you, the bigger vessel. You the one that's got the logical mind, because the Lord didn't give them that, and here you are going out your way for a, a broad that don't give a damn about you. All right, she's only thinking about herself. Have have not uh, history uh, taught you that? Look at these films. Look at these TV shows. These broads only dealing with somebody who's got power, who's only got money, who's only got a fucking house that they can be. Have a roof over their head. All right? They don't care if he's ugly as hell. They don't care if he's good looking. All they care about is, is what can he do for them? That's always been their mindset. All right? They're attracted to what? Power. Oh, he got a big ass house. Oh, he got nice cars. He got this and that. They going. Okay? You got to keep that in mind. You don't, don't go. Don't lose yourself over abroad, man. Broads come and go. You think that's your girl? No, it's only your time. She ain't gonna be the last dude you with. She definitely wasn't the first. Okay? Don't lose yourself over a bar abroad, man. Alright? Let's get this. Since uh since I read that, this leads right on to this this next one. This is Proverb 31. And verse 3, it says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. You see that? Sitting there being a simp. All right? Giving, giving her all you got. And all for her, for, for her to damn near, shit, it could be literally, but verbally, uh, you know, uh, just saying, suck you dry. Take you for everything you got, man. All right? And then what happens? Okay? What 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 happens right after that? She leave your ass. And when she leave your ass, she going to leave with half. <laughs> All right? Kanye West, um, little, little, uh, funny joke there. One of his songs. All right? But that's facts, man. She going to leave you. All right, especially if y'all so-called Roman marriage, ring on the fair, uh, ring on the finger. She gonna take your ass to court. She probably came into the relationship, didn't have a, a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Now here she getting a divorce. She got she gonna take half your money. She probably want the crib because the lawyers, judges might tell her she can mm -hmm. have the house. You got to leave. She want the car. Okay, or you got you gonna have to uh, pay alimony. Whatever the case may be, all right, it's all built to be unfair to you. Because why? Scripture said, a woman shall come past a man. 
right? The women is up over the man. You should have kept that in mind. Okay? This is this is the wave of knowing that this is the end. Okay? This is the book of Isaiah. This is Isaiah 10 and verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. You see that? You go into these courthouses, you think you're going to get a, a fair shake? Jake, no, you're not. The woman is going to get that. Unless, for whatever reason, she was just down and out hideous and unrighteous as fuck, man. All right, the Lord, or not the Lord, but the, these judges found her totally unfit to to be able to uh, take over uh, the the child, right? The, the the child can now live with you instead of her, because otherwise the child going they gonna make the child live with the with the with the wife, with the the woman, should I say? Okay, and she the one divorce you, right? So the judge is gonna let her have her, half of your shit, alimony. You got to pay child support, even though that's illegal. Title D-14. Uh, uh, you can watch uh, El El uh, Elder Malcolm's videos if you want to get some understanding on that. Um, uh, uh, what else? Um, shit, damn near whatever they want to throw at you, really. Because it's all it's all to go against the, the, the man. All right? In this case, the Israelite man. And, and to be all for the woman. Because that's the pedestal that they put them on. Okay? And all you simp ass motherfuckers in the world, you let this shit happen. Because you got that fucking R&B spirit, R uh, boys, boys to men spirit. Simping ain't easy. Now these women up over your ass, ain't shit you can do about it. Because this is what y'all fucking created. So what, what's the thing that, to do about it? What, what, what is the end result? Of these things happen, men say, "Fuck it, go ahead, keep all this. I don't, I don't fucking need it. Whatever, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my own thing. You do you. I'm gonna do me. That's the, that's MGTOW. Men going their own way. These bras created that shit, right? Through the men being simps, letting, them, letting these bitches up over them, man. Okay. Cause like I said, when, when, when y'all split, and now it's legal action. Be prepared for unrighteous decrees, man. All right? And then what What happens with that? She got everything. You got nothing. Okay? There's a, there's a, there's a, a common theme right there. A, a divided what? House. Your household is now divided. She going to raise a child one way. You going to raise your child a different way. Okay? Y'all going to have totally different opinions. Different uh, ways to go about doing things. Let's get that. This is. This is Mark 3. And 25. It says. And if a house be divided against itself. That house cannot stand. And that's facts. If y'all can't be on one accord. Be prepared for a divided household. Be prepared. Be prepared for a divided nation. Ain't that what's happening right now? Shit uh, was a few nights ago. Uh, last night, uh, Bangladesh. The, the citizens of Bang Bangladesh just overthrew their government. This is only a small thing. All right. Then you got um um what's been happening in France for the past few years. They've been constantly ha having issues with their government. Shit, Korea. All right. Uh, 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 Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan, and, and these are like little small fires, if you will. Who's gonna be the main one burning? Not only figuratively, but literally, Babylon, aka America. All right, the shit ain't really hit the fan here just yet, but it's coming. That's gonna be the Jacob's troubles, man. All right, this is what's coming. So, hey, look, these men. That that lost these these broads, fuck it, man. Hey, you better off, okay? Cause look, when the shit hit the fan, hey, that's one more mouth you gonna have to feed, and your simping ass gonna be sitting there, about to kill yourself to just to make sure she fed and she the one left your ass. 
Now she back because she needs somebody. And you're a familiar face. She knows she already got you whipped around her fucking finger. If she leave, let her leave, man. All right, you, you better off, man. All right, and, and I'm specifically speaking to men of the Lord. I ain't, I don't even t forget, forget the rest of you people in the world. I'm talking about the men of the Lord. If she leave, let her leave, man. You know? Hey, if the Lord, if the Lord uh, uh want her to go, she'll go. And, and, and ain't nothing that can happen about it. If she gone, she gone. The Lord is not gonna put you in a predicament where, you know, uh, uh he's gonna make it grievous, more grievous for you than 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 needs to be. All right? If she leave, let her be gone. Cause hey, look, Isaiah four one. What happens soon enough? <laughs> All right, several women shall take hold of one man. She want to leave? Hey, there's going to be several broads that would be glad to take her spot. Call Halayim la Yahweh me on Shai. Hey, the Lord is not unrighteous, man. Everything that, that he lets happen is with reason. And it's a good reason. It's a good cause. Because it's his will. Okay? Let's get another one. This is 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, back up, back up, 1 Corinthians 7 and 29, but this I say, brethren, the time is short, it remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none, and they that weep as though they wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. And they that buy as though they possess not. And they that use this world as not abusing it. For the fashion of this world passes away. Point being, if she leave, don't grab you another one. Okay, don't grab you. Why would you grab onto another headache? Knowing that this is the end. Knowing that they're the weaker vessel. Knowing that they can't hang. Why would you grab another one? Alright, you, you get into a situation... And you got several people that, that's looking to um, take you out, so to say. All right. You cool. You calm. But here she is shivering and shaking. All right. She cry out. Now they know where your position at. Both of y'all are through. If it be the Lord's will. But nonetheless, that shouldn't want to happen if you was by yourself. See? If she leave, let her leave. All right. You, hey, the Lord called you into this walk. Don't marvel when they leave. This is already this is already uh, known to happen. Look at the look at the look at the uh, account with Job. Job was going through it. The Lord put Job through it, man. What is what did Job's wife say? Why don't you just curse them on this high and get it over with? Why don't you just curse them and, and die? He's like, man, shut the fuck up. Job kept his integrity, and then what happened at the end? The Lord gave him everything back that he lost and then some. Much, much, much more. The women don't know shit, man. All right? Keep your integrity with your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And quit, quit letting these women fucking drive you up the wall, man. Keep your fucking post. This is Romans. And I'm going to end it off with this. This is Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time that now is a high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Magtow. Men going their own way, specifically the men of the Lord. If that's what we got to do, Hey, call her Lion like Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Because he called us into this walk. He didn't call your whole uh, uh, family member group into this thing, man. All right? Sometimes you got to do things on your own. And when that day come, it should, should it be the Lord's will? Hey, so be it, man. It's the Lord's will. Thy will be done. Lord willingness is edifying, giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and great, uh, bishops of Great Millstone. All right.
and all our teachers putting pushing this word in truth or truth and sincerity, especially now, risk your lives to do so. May you be the elect. Y'all better stay prayed up, man, and repent. If she leave, let her leave. All right? You you women that, that that's calling on your how about shy? Uh, that that nigga don't believe. If he leave, let him leave. You better off with a man of the Lord anyway. Repent. Shalom. Kwame Asharala. And a barber ball. <laughs>